Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a reading for Libra. Sun, Moon, and Rising, male and female. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click that little bell button so you can be notified whenever I upload a reading for Libra. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. Everything in this reading is not going to resonate with you, so just keep that in mind. However, if this one resonates with you, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Lady Tarot T. So let's get right into it. Let's see what messages, Spirit, do you have for my Libra, Spirit in the Universe? Holy Spirit, Angels of the White Divine Light, please give me clear messages for Libra. Sun, Moon, and Rising, male and female. Spirit in the Universe, please give me clear messages. Ooh, all right. Libra. So you have Isis, okay? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Interesting. Stay focused. And you also have, oh, Gaia. I love this energy. Some of you could have um, Earth energy in your chart as well. Earth connection. Some of you could be a mother. I'm getting like, this is like my mother figure energy, my mother figure card. All right. It says, be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth and stay grounded. Interesting. So I feel like you have the ability to manifest. Yes. I feel like you have the ability to manifest your dreams, your goals. Or turning your dreams, your visions, your goals into reality. Definitely needing to stay focused, my Libras. So let's see. Let's see what other messages. Spirit, do you have for... Ooh, if I can get these cards in my hand. Let's see what messages, Spirit, do you have for Libra. Sun, moon, and rising. Male and female. Yeah, you have the ability to manifest and, and make your visions, your dreams, your passions a part of your world here. That's what I'm getting. Interesting. Oh, look at that material material world. Okay, manifesting. Interesting. And we have received. Yeah, so I'm getting like you are receiving this manifesting magic, magical energy here from the universe. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting with this received energy, like the universe is, like, I feel like the universe, spirit, the spirits, your guides are sending you, I feel like, good energy or sending you energy, whereas though, like, you'll be able to manifest whatever it is that you desire into the material world. Interesting. Let's see. What other messages, spirit, do you have for Libra? Sun, moon, and rise, and male and female. Somebody may be wanting to reach out to you as well with this received energy. We have big dreams. Wow. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, you're definitely going to be manifesting your dreams. Yeah, your goals. You're definitely getting you being able to manifest and bring all of those desires into reality interesting we have unawakened wow so that's why i was getting like i felt like somebody could be trying to reach out to you okay i'm getting like a masculine energy somebody who may be unawakened at this time interesting okay let's see what other messages spirit do you have for libra let's see what's going on here because i feel like it's more to the story we need more cards we need more information we need more messages for libra Oh, okay. I feel like something is trying to come out. Let's see. What other messages, spirit? Okay. Oh, shit. Ascending. Y'all always, Libra, y'all be doing the most. All right. Interesting. So I'm definitely getting like you ascending, moving forward. Okay. Growth. Yeah. Metamorphosing, changing understanding what else we have conclusion wow and refocus yeah i'm getting like wow so it looks like you've left someone behind here so that's what i was getting like i feel like an energy of somebody trying to reach out to you so i'm definitely getting like with this unawakened energy this could be definitely a masculine energy somebody that you wrap things up with like you definitely closed out a chapter something has definitely wrapped up or came to an end with this conclusion card and like now you're focusing 
on yourself. You're focusing on your future. You're focusing on your dreams. Yeah, manifesting, moving forward. That's what I'm getting. Like, yeah, you're definitely refocusing on your dreams. And you're definitely growing, evolving, moving forward, ascending to new heights. Okay, new levels in your life or new chapters in your life. Interesting. And I'm getting somebody definitely could be trying to reach out to you, trying to see have you like received the message or something. That's what I'm getting with this revived energy. However, I do feel like this person who is unawakened, I feel like some light is going to be shed on them or maybe they're going to get an understanding of something i'm not sure what that something is but let's pull more energy here let's see because this person is unawakened i want to dig into the shadows and see here because i'm definitely getting like libra you guys are whether you're male or female you're definitely refocusing and moving forward towards your dreams towards your goals yes that's definitely what i'm getting and spirit is saying to stay fucking focused this is interesting because we have refocus some of you may have been knocked off of your path Due to someone who is like unawakened or in a low vibrational energy here. Yeah, I'm getting some of you definitely could have been knocked off of your path. But now spirit is saying, yeah, they're sending you this energy of, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like this magic manifesting energy definitely could be around you at this time. And spirit is saying to stay focused. A lot of you need to refocus as well towards those dreams that you may want to pursue. I, I'm definitely getting like you may have been thrown off your path you've been thrown off track that's what i'm getting maybe dealing with someone who's in a low vibrational negative energy yeah i'm getting because even with this conclusion energy it looks like you definitely had to like wrap up this chapter close out some things with this person let's see tell me more about this tell me tell me about this person who is unawakened let's see let's dig into the shadows here so I'm not getting this is your energy. I feel like this is somebody else's energy. This could be, like I said, a past lover, someone that you had to walk away from in order to refocus on yourself, in order to, you know, focus on your dreams and your goals. So let's see. Yeah, we have Faithless. This is somebody who's definitely in a low vibrational negative energy, okay? Two different decks, mind you, okay? So with this unawakened energy, I want us to clarify it, and I am going to dig a little deeper, but this person is definitely not having faith, Okay, I'm definitely getting like they're in an energy of just not really having faith. Um, yeah. Yeah, because with this faithless, this is somebody who really doesn't have faith. Maybe they, um, maybe, yeah, maybe this person needs some help. I feel like they need Jesus. I don't know. I don't want to say it like that, but uh, okay. Tell me more about this person who's unawakened. They're clearly in a space where they're not really focused on anything long term. Yeah, look at, ooh, okay. Yeah, they're very empty inside. We have void. It, it almost feels like they, they, they feel like, they may feel like they're missing something. They may be even missing you because bottom of the deck, we have non-action. So I feel like you're not taking any action toward this person. Tell me more about this person who's unawakened. They may be also praying. That's what I get as well with this faithless energy. And I know that it says faithless, but with the praying hands, I feel like this person may be trying to pray. I feel like they're trying to fill a void. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Tell me more about this person who's unawakened. May I feel like they may feel empty, hollow. We have secondary, foolish, yeah, interesting, yeah. Maybe you put this person second. I feel like you had to put yourself first. That's what I'm getting, yeah. In order to have something stable, a, you know, a solid future. I feel like you had to put this person second. It may have even hurt, it, like hurt you to walk away from this person. But that's what I'm getting. Yeah, this person feels very foolish. They may be drinking, smoking. Um, what else I like to say when it comes to this card? Looking at um, maybe old love letters, photos. Yeah, because we have the picture in the background. I'm definitely getting you had to turn your back. That's what I'm getting. You turned your back on this person. So, like, maybe you guys are on two different chapters, on two different pages. Yeah, this person is definitely unawakened at this time. So I'm getting a lot of low vibrational negative energy. I feel like you had to, yeah, you had to wrap things up. You had to close out this cycle in order to focus on yourself. 
Tell me more about this person who's unawakened. We have irresponsible. So this person definitely could have been very irresponsible, made, you know, stupid decisions. Um, this person could have married someone else, and now they feel like you're leaving them behind. Um, maybe they made a foolish decision by marrying someone else, and they're not able to get to you. That's what I'm getting. Tell me more. Maybe they put you second to be with someone because I'm getting, like, marriage. This is my marriage card. Maybe, like, the marriage that they're in could be, like, dead. Okay, like, that's what I'm getting, and they feel very foolish because they, they made a stupid decision. They made an unwise choice. Tell me more about this person who's in this low vibrational negative energy. Yeah. And I feel like they also feel some type of way. Yeah, they definitely could feel foolish because look at all this beautiful, bright energy here. Like you're moving forward. You're no longer being um, second. Okay. You're no longer putting, yeah, like you're putting yourself first. You're refocusing on yourself, your dreams, your goals, your desires, and you're going after that. And I feel like you had to leave this person in the dust. You had to leave this person behind. Let's see. Give me more me messages, more energy. Yeah, stagnant. This person's fucking stagnant. <laughs> exactly. They may have made, like, very foolish decisions, may have been very irresponsible, um, making irresponsible choices, decisions, very stagnant, They're, you know, in this low vibrational negative energy. I feel like this person, you couldn't deal with this person. That's what I'm getting ruthless and we have guarded yeah i feel like you had to protect yourself you had to protect yourself yeah self-indulgent i feel like this person was all about self okay they were all about self and you had to focus on yourself let's grab some tea leaf oracles libra oh my ladies my babies i love libras <laughs> Oh, I just want to give y'all a big hug, but I feel like a lot of you are definitely like moving forward. Okay. I feel like there's no love lost. That's what I'm getting. Like if anything, this person is stuck in stagnation. This person is feeling some type of way. Um, yeah. Spirit is saying, continue to stay focused, move forward towards your dreams, your goals to make that shit a fucking reality, Libra. Okay. Look at that. I feel like you definitely have to, had to cut this person off. The scissors. Disappointment in some affair. Yeah, I feel like we had a situation with this person, and it led to a lot of disappointment, and you had to cut that ass off. Period. We have Target. Yeah, a goal-oriented person. You're very driven. That's what I'm getting. Interesting. We have love. Yeah, tell me more. Give me more messages. Give me... More messages for Libra. Yeah. Feel like you had to cut this situation off and focus on your goals, your dreams. <sighs> Feel like you were dealing with a vulture for some of you, okay? De de somebody's very depressed, yeah. Anxieties, worries that someone is against you. Some of you may also feel like or may have some sort of worries about this person being against you. But if anything, they're in a fucking low vibrational ass, negative ass energy. Very stagnant. We have seahorse family matters. Yeah, I feel like this person either was married or they may have chose someone um, over you. Yeah, look, Libra, I feel like you're definitely stepping into a new experience. Yes, moving forward, ascending to new heights. Okay, interesting. Leaving this motherfucker in the dust. It is what it is. They're in this low vibrational negative energy. And so now I feel like they're definitely like... I feel, like re I feel like reality is setting in for them, okay? And, they and this is something that they may not want to accept. Tell me more. Give me more energy for Libra because I'm, I'm definitely getting like, okay, we got the month of April. We've got two months. Oh, October and April. Those months could be significant for you. Let's get a few more and then we're going to hop right into the tarot and let's see what messages Spirit has for you. What are the messages? We have for Libra. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, look at that. Basket, recognition, reward for Marriott. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like a lot of abundant energy. You're getting a lot of recognition, We're working really hard, and you're moving forward. I'm getting like a lot of success, maybe even limelight, something about 
whatever you're focusing on, what is something is like definitely changing here. You're evolving into something beautiful. I'm getting like a butterfly. Okay. Um, <laughs> we have parents. Someone will gossip about all of your secrets. Yeah. That's what I was getting. Like, it's best for you to stay the fuck away from this person. This, this, oh my goodness. <sighs> Need I say more Libra? This person may want to gossip about you or they could be gossiping about you. Let me pull some of my, um, index cards before we hop into your tarot just wanted to put my little touch on this reading um yeah so let's go ahead and grab a few cards oh yeah i feel like even though this person feels foolish um that they made this you know stupid decisions they definitely could be praying for you to come back into their world i'm definitely getting a lot of greed surrounding why this person wants to take action towards you of course you're fucking glowing up libra okay and now it's like like i said some sort of light is being shed on maybe this connection that they had with you and i feel like it's like a little too late like that's what i'm getting and so i feel like and this person for some of you this person definitely may be gossiping about you or maybe some sort of secrets that you may have shared with this person something personal they could be gossiping about you because again like you're focusing on your own shit that's what i'm getting and they have nothing to focus on but shit that's what i'm getting okay um mm, okay let's get some messages here what message do you have for libra spirit even though we haven't talked in a while I still care for you. I kick myself from the thought of losing you. I can't take back what has happened between us. I wasn't thinking at the time, but now I know. You are in my life to help me grow. You will forever be the one that got away. Ain't that some shit, Libra? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some more. What other messages do you have for Libra, Libra before, we get into, <laughs> before we get into the tarot? All right, thank you, spirit. Now, you have independent. Yeah, Libra, I'm definitely getting like you're very fucking independent. We got the number five. That could be significant for you. You inspire me to be a better person. So I'm getting like, Libra, you are inspiring this person. I mean, because they're in a fucked up position here. They could be in a loveless marriage, not having no, a lot of faith. But, I, but for some reason, I'm still getting greed energy coming from this person. So even though it's all fine and dandy that you inspire this person, but still, I really feel like you need to have your guard up. We have loyalty. Sometimes the heart see what is invisible to the eye. I feel like you. this person definitely could be spying on you as well. But I'm getting, you, you saw something in this person that others didn't see. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, I feel like you were very loyal to this person. Yeah, you were very loyal. And they were not. Yeah, and now they're kicking themselves. They're feeling bad. They're in this low vibrational depression, depressing energy. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Too many. Ah, uh, this person has a lot to say. This person has a lot to say. I really feel like you know that's coupled with everything else that they have going on, the baggage and them just in a fucked up place with all of this dark negative energy look will you be mine we have the letter w when it's real you can't walk away yeah i'm getting like you were very real you were very loyal to this person you really wanted something more but they were not yeah this person could it could be a scorpio but i, I just saw a sorry i don't know why i said sorry but somebody this person may want to say sorry to you all right, so let's go ahead and look at your tarot. Let's see. But I still, I don't know, for some reason, it's going to be different for everybody. But with this energy here, this person, is, this person is going to be gossiping about you or telling all of your secrets. I'm definitely getting like you need to stay clear or like just, yeah, know how far to go with this person. That's what I'm getting. And continue to focus on what you got going on, Libra. Don't let this person knock you off of your path. Let's see. What message of spirit do you have for my lovely Leap Leaves Libras? I love you guys. <laughs> All right. So let's see what messages spirit do you have 
for Libra. Oh, look, I got the fucking deck turned upside down. Yeah, don't let this person turn your life upside down. <laughs> yeah, don't let this person turn your life upside down. Because I'm definitely getting like... Look, they got they are definitely going to want to contact you, travel towards you, send you some sort of a message, Libra. Yeah, because you are the fucking Empress, okay? I feel like they walked away from the Empress. And now they want to rush back into your life. But I feel like it could be because of, like, could be, like, them, like, the guilty conscience. It could be due to greed, you know? Yeah. Interesting. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We got the seven of wands energy, Libra. This is this is representing you. So I'm definitely getting like you're standing your ground. You could be like being very defensive, having to block this person. Okay. Having to protect yourself, self, standing up for what you believe in. Person that you're dealing with, yeah, we got the five of pentacles, so they're feeling left out in the cold. I'm definitely getting like they could be going through some sort of financial struggles. I feel like for some of them, for some of you, they could be married to someone maybe they're going through a hard time financially with the five of pentacles there's a lack of stability in their world they're feeling left out in the cold here but i'm definitely getting for some of you this is somebody that either they left you for because remember we go back to this energy here your oracles remember i'm seeing this person being in a loveless marriage with this irresponsible energy so i'm definitely getting this is picking this is representing the person that you're connecting with or dealing with okay so, yeah, I feel like they are with someone, but they definitely could be feeling unstable. This connection may be very unstable. Um, again, this is a lack of faith here with the Five of Pentacles as well. The outcome here, we got the Nine of Swords. Interesting. Having a lot of anxieties, worries. I feel like this person definitely could be trying to contact you. Um, I feel like they're going through a lot of heavy things now. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. My my um, camera cut off. So let's go ahead and wrap this up here. Let's clarify the um, Seven of Wands energy. Yeah, we got the Hangman energy. I really feel like you're definitely very um, on guard about taking this person back here. I feel like you don't want to get caught up in their bullshit here with the hangman and i'm also getting like this person being very indecisive here yeah i feel like you're definitely going to be blocking this person out um and they may be a little confused or indecisive and not being able to choose or something of that sort yeah we got the six of pentacles i feel like this person is, is either married or they're involved with someone um, and they may be wanting to come forward towards you because they are there's a lack of financial stability here around them or something they may be going through a hard time they may have even gotten put out here as well five of pentacles feeling left out in the cold um and i definitely feel like they could be they could be wanting something from you i'm getting yeah financial monies here with the six of pentacles i feel like you're in a position to give to them okay we got the five of cups at the bottom of the deck yeah so i feel like this person could be either crying yeah definitely crying over spilled milk here um, really focused on this loss, but I'm getting due to a lot of secrets here with the moon. Things were like a lot of things were hidden from you. Again, this person definitely, they could be feeling emotional or some type of way. Um, I'm definitely getting like them watching you. Yeah. Look at that. This person watching you, you could be dealing with the Virgo, but I'm getting like them in some sort of agreement or marriage or something with this hierophant energy. And yeah, I feel like this is this could be something that they hid from you for some of you. But I am getting like this person is watching you. Yeah, they're definitely looking in on you. I feel like they want to seek you out. But I feel like you're definitely in this energy of like, you know, not to be fucked with Queen of Swords. Okay, you're very stable. Look. Sorry about that, you guys. Camera cut off one too many times. Okay. So like I was saying, this person is definitely like crying over spilled milk. They see you as being very stable, okay, with this four wands. They definitely, um, I'm getting like a nice home, stable environment. And this person definitely wants to come back into your life. They may be even wanting to give you a commitment. But again, I just feel like for some reason with this hangman energy, this person is very stuck and stagnant. They are definitely very indecisive, okay? So I'm definitely getting like you need to continue to put your guard up. Um, have your guard up, okay, when it comes to this person because I feel like it's not going to be 
an even exchange I feel like because they are either involved with someone or they definitely are going to be coming forward towards you because they need some sort of security that's what I'm getting so I'm gonna leave it there could be dealing with any sign if this reading resonated with you in any way like share and subscribe I'll see you next time